guys, what is up? It's the one and only Lala number one here, and I have today a very useful mod download tutorial. It is for not enough items, 1.5.2, or future updates of Minecraft, and let's jump right into it. If you don't know what not enough items is, it's basically like too many items, and if you don't know what that is, it's it mods your Minecraft so that you have the ability to have every single item in the game or have the crafting recipes for every single item in the game. If you still don't know what it is, I'm going to show it to you later after we install it. But let's get started with, I'll have three links in the description and they're going to be for 7-Zip, Minecraft Forge, and the mod itself on the forums. You're going to need these three items, so the first one you want to install is 7-Zip. And if you have a 32-bit computer, then you want to download the one that says 32-bit, which is up here. If you have a 64-bit, same thing down here. Download the 64-bit. Do that. Send it to your desktop. Send it to your downloads. Wherever. I keep it on my desktop because it's easy to click and drag. But you can do whatever. And if you installed it right, then you'll see why later. Next, you want to download Forge. And this might look like a whole bunch and you probably pee just pee your pants because you're like oh my god I've never installed a mod before and this is scary well no need to worry all you have to do is go to the top one and click on universal and by the way all of these when you click the link I'll show you with this one it'll send you to this website called adfly and you just have to wait a few seconds and um, press skip ad and it'll let you download what you wanted to this is just how they make their money and yeah, so this is AdFly. It says please wait five seconds up here, and because they just want you to see this and get money. But as soon as you see this skip ad, you press that, your download will start. So that was Forge, and we already did 7-Zip. It'll do the same thing, and you just want to install that because it's a program, not a file. I think something like that. So then you come to the forums, which I'll also have in the description, and you go to here, Code Chicken Core and you press show right here and this opens up and you want to go to MCU 1.5.2 download and like it, it'll take you to AdFly I showed you what to do you just press skip ad and send it to your desktop downloads I really don't care just have it accessible and so you download that and you also need something else from this uh, page so you go down to not enough items itself click the show scroll down a little bit more so it says install instructions and downloads. Click show one more time. And then MC 1.5.2 download. Like I said, it's under your desktop downloads. I really don't care. Just have it accessible. And now we get into the fun part. Actually installing it. So I have it here in my folder. Here, code chicken core, forge, and not enough items. So we have that, <coughs> excuse me, and make sure that your Minecraft is not running while we do this next step, because it is going into the files and it could harm something, and I don't want that to happen to you. So you press this little start button. If you're on um, Windows 8, it, you're going to have to like wave your mouse over here and it'll be up there. But you want to type percent app data percent, and this roaming file will come up. So you want to click on that. And then you want to go to your dot Minecraft, and then you want to go to your bin. And if you installed 7-Zip correctly, you want to select this Minecraft, and you want to right-click on your mouse, and this should pop up: 7-Zip, open archive. So then you press here, open archive, and this should pop up. And now you do the same thing with Forge: 7-Zip, open archive. Have them side by side. Know which one's which, because that's very important. So this is the Minecraft bin dot jar dot Minecraft thing, and this is Universe Forge Universal. And you want to select everything that's in here. I think I missed the top file, but everything that's in here. It's completely everything. It may seem like a lot, but it takes like two seconds. And you click and drag into here. And that folder meta inf is going to be right here somewhere. And you want to delete that. That's the anti-mod software that Mojang put into Minecraft. 
make sure you delete that or it will not work and you're gonna mess everything up so that was pretty easy so now you're out of that you don't need forge and now you want to run your minecraft so just run it <coughs> take a second there we go and this should pop up any second yeah FML is setting up your minecraft environment this is forge forge something something I know it's like F my life but not nah. and never X out of this never press stop it'll screw up your mods and it'll close your minecraft and everything so just let it be and then it will still run your minecraft I just have a slow computer but there you go logic um so it's not running very fast but don't worry it still does work Any second now. Come on. You can do it. There we go. So it'll say Minecraft Forge or whatever. I already have the mods installed, so just ignore that. But yeah, Minecraft Forge, you can go to mods here. And three should pop up. It'll be Forge Mod Loader, Minecraft Forge, and Minecraft Coder Pack. If you have those, then you've done well. Good job. Now, there's only one last step. So close out your Minecraft again. Come here to percent update a percent. Roaming dot Minecraft core mods. And it's simple as that. You just click and drag in here. As you can see, I already have them installed. And um, it's very simple. Just click and drag. Now close out. Open up your Minecraft one more time. And I'll just show you that the mod indeed does work. Yep, like I said, this will happen every time, and just I'm not doing anything to it. Mal Minecraft validated, launching, that means you're good to go. And so it starts. Alright, and I think that's a Forge thing, where it says, I like pie, right there. I, I, yeah, I don't know. It just says, I like pie. Mojang silly you. Any second. Come on. Okay, there we go. So I'll just go into a single player world. Um, oh. Tests. Sure. Alright. I heard the sound. What the? Okay. Well then. Ignore that. And. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of lag just from starting up the world. But, um. Go and open to your inventory. And bam! You have it. Not enough items. Simple as that. You know, and you can have it. Recipe mode, utility mode. I don't know what utility does. Or cheat mode. I prefer to have it in recipe mode because of my, uh, how do I make a uh, item frame? Oh, that's very nice. Thank you for telling me. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful to you. And, um, yeah, good luck with the mod. Um, you know, have fun with Minecraft, and, uh, peace out. Thanks so much for watching.